Welcome back to our IB Biology video series. This is the first video in IB Biology Higher Level Topic 10, Genetics and Evolution, where we will be looking at genetic variation, natural selection, and speciation. IB Biology Topic 10 is an extension on three prior topics from the IB Biology syllabus, genetics, evolution, and ecology. We therefore recommend watching our Topic 3, 4, and 5 video series in their entirety. As introduced in our IB Biology Topic 5 video series, genetic variation is introduced during mutations, sexual reproduction and meiosis, through crossing over and random orientation. Such variation is often classified into two groups, discrete and continuous. Discrete variation occurs when the variation falls into distinct categories of characteristics. For example, blood type can be A, B, AB or O. Continuous variation occurs when the variation falls into a spectrum of characteristics, for example, skin or hair colour. But what are the processes of crossing over and random orientation? Well, before we dive into it, let's briefly recap the organisation of chromosomes in meiosis. They consist of two sister chromatids and are bound together in pairs named homologous chromosomes. Each pair contains chromosomes with the same genes but different alleles i.e. each chromosome contained is not genetically identical. So, how is this organisation relevant? Well, let's start by discussing crossing over. During prophase 1, homologous chromosomes are paired up by a process known as synapsis to create bivalence, held by chiasmata. Soon after synapsis, crossing over occurs. It is the mutual exchange of genes between chromatids from adjacent homologous chromosomes within a bivalent. You need to be able to describe the process, which is as follows. A junction is created where a chromatid breaks and rejoins with another chromatid from the adjacent homologous chromosome in the bivalent. Junctions occur at random positions along the chromatid, but at the same place on the chromatids involved, to ensure mutual exchange of genes. This produces chromosomes with new combinations of alleles, therefore resulting in genetic diversity. So, what about the second method of introducing variation, random orientation? During metaphase 1, the homologous chromosomes within each bivalent are attached by spindle fibres to either pole. So, depending on the random orientation of each bivalent, the homologous chromosomes which travels to either pole can vary. Since each homologous chromosome is genetically different, this introduces variation. This is random orientation. It is important to note that the orientation of one bivalent does not impact another, and the formula 2 to the power of n can be used to deduce the number of combinations of random orientation, where n is the haploid number. For example, in humans, this would produce 2 to the power of 23, over 8 million combinations. Hopefully, you can now appreciate the true complexity of meiosis with regards to genetic variation, as is expected for the IB Biology higher level syllabus. Genetic variation is essential for evolution, and thus directly impacts the process of natural selection. Let's review this now. When discussing genetic variation in natural selection, we often use the term gene pool. This describes all the genes and the alleles present in an interbreeding population. The gene pool distribution is indicative of the type of natural selection that occurs within a population. For the higher level exam, you need to recall the three main patterns of natural selection. Stabilising, disruptive and directional. Let's cover them now. Stabilising natural selection occurs when selection pressures remove the extremes of a phenotype. For example, the clutch size of eggs are mostly medium in number, as too few eggs decreases survival rate whereas too many increases predation. Disruptive natural selection occurs when selection pressures remove the intermediate phenotype. For example, the beak of the red crossbill is either crossed left or right, but never straight, as the crossing allows it to extract conifer cones and obtain food. Directional natural selection occurs when selection pressures select one extreme of a phenotype, for example, the Darwinian finches during El Nino were selected for longer beaks during times of drought. When discussing gene pools, an associated term arises, 
genetic equilibrium. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.